Hello, in this video we are going to talk about security in Power BI. So, the security in Power BI is classified broadly into two categories. The first one, the data level or the row level security. Now, this is applied during the development on the Power BI desktop by creating roles. The PBIX file is then published onto the Power BI service where you assign members to the role. So, the data level security means or the row level means that you have the same dashboard or the same report and then depending upon who has logged in they would see the data pertaining to them just to give you a use case let's say the country manager US the country manager for India and for country manager of UK they want to access data only for their respective countries while the, C while the CEO would access the data across the globe. So that is an example of data security. We're going to talk more on that in the next slide. And then uh, the access level itself. That means the security of the, the, the workspace, the application, which we have not created yet, but we will, but the security around the reports, which report would be seen by whom, who is classified as an admin versus who is classified as a member on the app. So that is the access level security uh, which is on the, on the second level or the second type of security, category of the security in Power BI. Now, now let's see how we implement data level security in Power BI. So let's understand the use case or a scenario wherein you have a CEO which is the top level person and then you have US country manager that means a country manager the regional manager for US wherein he'll be only responsible for US similarly UK and India country manager so I imagine that this country or this organization is working in three different countries US UK and India and then you have country managers for each country and they report back to CEO now, the CEO has access to all the data, all the country's data, every data, every country, right? And then the US manager has access to US data only. The UK country manager has access to UK data. And then India country manager has access to uh, India data only. So that is the data segregation which we are talking about. Now, how do we implement it? How to go about it? And this is what is the next step is implementing data level security in Power BI. So you have Power BI cloud service, which is the cloud, obviously. And then the Power BI desktop, which is your on-prem installed development environment, which we have been working on. Now, you will have the role one, which is going to be the US role. Role two, which will be UK. And role three, that will be India. So you will create three roles and obviously for CEO you will have it open. So you will create three roles only, one for US, UK and India. And then use DAX filters, I'm going to show you how to use that, but use DAX filter to limit the data set. And then move, like when you publish the Power BI folder or the PBIX, it would push it onto the cloud service. And when on cloud, you would add members to all the three roles and the members you add to these roles would be seeing one data or the other so that's a complete implementation of data level security in power bi so in the next video we're going to talk about the implementation piece with that thank you for watching